Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted. I think it's been over a year since I did a how-to, but I'm trying to get back into the groove. So yeah, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Drake type beat, sort of like a beat from his newest album, Honestly, never mind. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, so I started out the melody with this pretty simple chord progression right here, and I'm using a pad from Expand called Silent Movie, and it's a part of the Soft Pads um, section in the preset library. And it has um, two sounds, but I actually turned off this um, Digi Buzz Bell, so I'm only using sweeping overtones. And then I put an EQ on it to cut out the lows, put some RC20 on it, just the noise, the wobble, and the distortion, because I like putting on reverb with the, with the separate plugin. Then I put on the um, this tremolo right here because it kind of makes like a fading in and out sort of effect. And then I added the reverb with super massive and I just used the default setting because it puts like a nice little delay on it as well. And I put that at about 20.9%. And then I use wider and I put that at 73 just to make it sound really full because this is going to be like the main base of the melody. And this is what the pad sounds like. The next thing I added to the melody was just like bell sort of sounding sound from labs and I just put an EQ on it to like duck out the lows and the highs and then I put a delay on it and I put some reverb on it as well and it only has one hit through the entire 8 bar loop and this is what it sounds like. The next sound I added to the melody was this little bell pattern right here and it's just coming in between the 6th and the 7th measure of the 8 bar loop. And it's this bell preset from Xband. It's just the vibraphone preset. And then I added an EQ to cut out the low end and lower some of the highs. Then I put in reverb again, and then I put in echo. And I put on the one fourth dotted at 65%. And then I put the wet at 42%. And this is what it sounds like. For the last part of the melody, I just recorded some vocal chops. And for the effects, there's a lot on there. So pretty much I just got an EQ and that's what it looks like up there. Then I put on auto tune, I put on a noise gate. So this pretty much just like ducks out like the hissing sound, or like if it picks up any other like air sounds or like buzzing or white noise or anything. And then I put on reverb, I put on a delay, I put on echo, I put on a low pass and this one I'm just cutting it out to like about 1.5. Um, I guess it would be Hertz or whatever the frequency. And then I put on pancake too so it's going it's panning back and forth, left and right, every half measure. And then I put a bus on with some more reverb. And this is what it sounds like. All right guys, that's the entire melody. Next up, we got the drums. I start out the drums with this pretty simple kick pattern right here. Next thing I added to the drums was a snare pattern right here. After the snare, I threw in this like accent sort of snare, and this is what it sounds like. After the accent snare, I threw in these two perks. After those perks, I threw in this open hat and it just hits on the second beat of every other measure. The last part of the drums is this hi-hat and pretty much it's just like an eighth note pattern and I just switched up the velocities to make it look like, or not even make it look, just to make it sound like really realistic instead of like your classic robotic like trap hi-hat pattern. And then I just got these um 1 16th notes coming in literally just every measure on the um, main snare hit, and this is what it sounds like. And the last part of the drums I added is the 808, and it's just a really simple pattern, and it's just following the, um, the bass notes of the main chord progression, and this is what it sounds like.
All right, guys, that's all the drums. And in case you were wondering, this is what they sound like by themselves. After that, I pretty much finished up the entire beat. So the only things I have left right here is this little like blue intro section. And what I did for that was I bounced out all of the melody patterns and the kick pattern. And then right here, I threw halftime on it with the one half loop setting. And then I just automated it. So it's going down from a full mix to a 40% mix. So as like the intro progresses, you can hear more and more of like the non halftime version of it. And this is what it sounds like. And then the very last thing I added is for this like little bridge section right here. I duplicated the hi-hat and then I just put half time on it with the half loop. And then I cut out some low end, I mean some high end. So that it like matches with like this half time section right here. And this is what it sounds like. So with that guys, that's the entire beat. And then for the structure, I got the eight bar intro. I got an eight bar hook. 16 bar verse, 8 bar bridge or like break period, then another 8 bar hook, then the 16 bar verse, then the 8 bar bridge or like break period again, then I got the 8 bar hook, and then I got an 8 bar outro. That pretty much makes up the whole beat, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I posted, but I hope this is a beat you guys liked, and with that, I'm gonna just play the whole beat for you guys. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.